James Madison was born on March 16, 1751, at Belgrove Plantation, near Port Conway, which was in Virginia. James was a small, sickly boy with a weak voice. He was the oldest of twelve children, but five died young. Madison started reading at age nine, and he had read every book in the house, eighty-five in all, by the time he was eleven. Since there were no more books, his father sent him to a school where he learned French, Latin, and Greek so he could read more. He also learned algebra, geometry, and about the history of other nations. When he was 18, Madison went to the college at Princeton in New Jersey. In 1776, Madison was elected to represent Orange County at a state convention in Williamsburg. In 1776, the Declaration of Independence was signed, declaring independence against Great Britain. In 1787, James attended the Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia in Independence Hall. George Washington presided, and James Madison was considered the father of the Constitution after the Convention. The U.S. Constitution was made at the Convention, and it was now the supreme law of the land. Madison was considered the father because he came up with most of the ideas for the new government. There were seven articles in the Constitution, and Madison later helped make ten amendments to it in the Bill of Rights. Madison helped Alexander Hamilton and John Jay write the Federalist Papers to persuade people to ratify the Constitution. Madison was later elected to Virginia's ratifying convention, where he helped Virginia ratify the Constitution, even though Patrick Henry, who was against the Constitution, spoke there. Washington was later inaugurated as president, and Madison was elected to the House of Representatives. At this time, James Madison became very good friends with Thomas Jefferson. In the fall of 1793, Madison married Dolly Payne. When John Adams became president, Madison retired from public life. At this time, Madison lived at Montpelier in Virginia. Later, Madison's good friend Thomas Jefferson became president of the United States after serving as vice president to John Adams. So, Madison decided to run for president. He was inaugurated in 1810. While he was president, the War of 1812 broke out, and the British burned Washington. James Madison narrowly escaped death, and he didn't even know his wife was alive until days later. But she had saved many things from the White House, including a portrait of George Washington. James Madison went through tough times, but he persevered through them because he wanted us to have the freedoms we enjoy. He is my hero because he did everything for us, not himself.